Good morning. The governor announcing the plan and the funding today, saying the state had to step in and provide this help for the humanitarian crisis, with temperatures expected to plummet next week. To get people off the streets as we head into winter, the state of Illinois will invest an additional $160 million via the Department of Human Services, specifically to address these bottlenecks. And part of the money, $30 million, will be used to set up an intake center for when the migrants first arrive in Chicago to either help them find a place to stay or to get them to their next destination in another city. As Chicago moves to set up base camps at several locations around the city, the state is providing another $65 million to increase the capacity to care for another 2,000 people. The remaining $65 million will be spent on wraparound services to help eligible migrants get expedited work permits so that they can get jobs and get out of the shelters. The governor was asked why this wasn't done back in the summer. Well, the city's been operating its own methodology process, right? And it hasn't moved fast enough. So we've done a complete data analysis of everything that's happened really for the last 14 months to determine exactly where the bottlenecks are. Also today, Cook County expected to announce plans for a new $90 million fund to help migrants. $70 million of that will go to help for health care through the Cook County health care system. The other $20 million will be offered to suburbs who are willing to step up to help with the migrant crisis. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.